So I believe the principles of good regulation, independence, clarity, openness, reliability, and efficiency are foundational within the NRC. They describe who we are, what we do, and why we do it. To me, I think the principles of good regulation are really are at the heart of the agency. Um, they're the basis and the fundamentals of everything we do as a good and fair regulator. Even as an attorney at the NRC, before I became chairman, I found the principles useful in helping to frame my counsel and guidance to the staff on the matters that they asked for my advice on. And as chairman, I think they are very important as I make decisions and consider the various policy options that come before the agency. The principles of good regulation allow us to say what good looks like in, as we do our work. It's, it's absolutely an important part, along with our values, of what attracted me to come to the agency. Could we be a quality regulator without them? Certainly we could. But the principles do help to focus us, and with the emphasis by agency leadership on them, we make sure that we focus on the right things in making our decisions, and that helps to assure that we have sound outcomes in all that we do. I think they're important to the agency because those are certainly the components of what it means to be a good regulator. There are many roles here at the agency that can sometimes serve to divide us, but the principles apply to all of us. They are a unifying aspect to our culture. The principles of good regulation communicate to our licensees and the public and other stakeholders how we as a regulator intend to do business. The principles of good regulation are important to me because they are a set of standards that the NRC folks can follow and make sure we use in our day-to-day -day activities to ensure public confidence in what we do. I believe that they serve as guideposts and we ought to be able to critically assess the recommendations that we make and the decisions that we make in the context of those principles. And I believe when we do so consistently, we make better decisions. I think the principles do have relevance to our international colleagues and to the way we conduct ourselves in our interactions in the international community. Uh, actually, one of the best examples of that is the Nuclear Energy Agency's Green Book on Characteristics of an Effective Regulator. And if you look at it, you can see our principles uh, infused throughout that publication. In 1991, when Commissioner Rogers and his staff and the other commissioners created the principles of good regulation, they actually considered whether to weight one over the other, and they decided not to. I think that was a wise decision. I think the principle of independence is the one that resonates with me the most. I find, I refer to it from the standpoint of my own decision making and thinking. I try to be independent in terms of how I uh, act on decisions that come before the commission. I'm independent with respect to my openness to different views and viewpoints. I don't think I have all the answers, but I'm also not beholden to one uh, particular stakeholder or another or a particular interest or another as I make my decisions. As the Chief Financial Officer, I am partial to the efficiency principle. Um, it is one of the reasons that I come to work every day. Um, as taxpayers and citizens, we should be sure that we're taking care of the nation's resources appropriately, so efficiency really resonates for me. One of the principles that's important to me is the principle of openness. We document the results of our inspection activities in publicly available inspection reports, and we also conduct public meetings in the vicinity of each nuclear power plant on an annual basis to communicate what the NRC does, how we do it, and what our assessment of performance is for the licensee in their community. Independence is a very important one of our principles of a good regulation. And part of independence is making sure that we conduct our activities free from conflicts of interest. And so we do inspections at the utilities and make sure that we're independent of the utility. We observe the activities, we review the records, we talk to the workers at the utilities and make sure that we draw our own conclusions about how the plant is being operated safely. We need to be reliable. We need to be reliable in the information we put out, in our regulations, in our inspections. 
basically in everything we do. They're there for us. We can pull them out and say, does this support the principle of, of clarity? Does it support the principle of openness? Are we living up to our values and articulating them through the good principles of regulation? Mm -hmm.